All right, you guys, our first guest is a mixed martial arts world champion that is returning to the ring when One Fight Night 10 makes its U.S. debut this Cinco de Mayo. It is my pleasure to welcome the Burmese Python himself, Ong La, to Inside South Florida. It is great to have you here. Thank you so much. I have to start by asking you, I mean, mixed martial arts, yeah. I watch, couldn't do it. What was it for you? What was that allure, or what is the allure of mixed martial arts that made you want to pursue this career and just make it essentially your, like, your life's work? So, so after my fight, first fight, I was hooked. It's like the adrenaline and, and, and just like constant evolution. Being able to break somebody's arm with your own <laughs> body, it's like, it's intriguing to me, you know? Yeah. And I've always been a martial arts fan as a kid. Well, I'm gonna take a moment just to, to to marinate in the fact that you said the adrenaline of breaking someone's arm is just everything because <laughs> a first on ISF, but you're massively successful. You had an incredible career. You almost gave it up though. Right before you signed with, with one in 2014, which you've been doing this for well over a decade, you didn't think this was for you, why? No, it, it was just, I was at a, you know, a crossroad where the money, uh, the, the career choice, and, and like my family was you know, growing and the, the fact that uh, I couldn't travel abroad, you know, I couldn't travel to keep pursuing my my passion was what made me think, you know, I might need to do a different thing to support my family. Um, at that time, I was also coaching, uh, coaching about a hundred, you know, students at the gym. So I, I thought, you know, it's better for me to just be a coach. How did you hook up with the organization and what did they have to say or what was it about the organization to draw you in? Because you just said you were at a crossroads. Your yeah. family came first. You were at a space where you thought, well, if I can't do, let me teach. And that's yeah. what you were doing. But then For all sure. of a sudden, the universe had different plans. The universe had different plans. I, um, I became a US citizen. I, I, was, uh, I was given a passport now and I can travel abroad and I can continue pursuing what I love. And everything clicked at that time, you know. My fight IQ got better just by coaching you know, a lot of the students. What is a fight IQ? Fight IQ is when you're in a fight, right? When you're in a fight, in your head, it's not just fight or flight. There's strategic movement, there's strategic you know, uh, approach to the fight game, right? Let's just say for an instance, you hurt somebody on the feet, right? Somebody with a bad fight IQ, because you're in close quarter, will try to wrestle. So there's a science behind it. Yes, there's a science behind it, and there's a lot of technique behind it. When you step into the ring, are you ever intimidated by your opponent? Are there some fighters that you're like, what? No, absolutely not. <laughs> My arm's not being broken by that guy. No, um, preparation is everything. You know, preparation and the people that I train with, like today, like, I'm, I'm getting kicked in the head, punched in the face. Taking, <laughs> look, look, look this, like I have a little bruise here, you know? That's from today, just earlier, like two hours ago. Ong La, back in the ring, May 5th, One Fight Night 10, only on Prime Video. The best of luck, man. And Thank go out so there and, 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 I guess, break some arms? Break I would say break arms. a leg, but break some arms. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, brother. Ong, you're the Thank best, you man. So